What a coincidence, Lou. Up, up. Come here. Um, and then he doesn't want to listen. Uh, yeah, so I took my dog on a walk and I said that word and uh, it makes him all jumpy. So I'm going to not say that word again. Um, it was a lot of fun because I got I brought my camera, um, the a7 III, like the nice one. And I put an ND filter on because it was like bright out like you can see here. It's very bright out and we got a bunch of cool pictures and it's like soft lighting. Louis, come here, up up. Oh, there he is. Oh, look at the dog. Yeah. So basically we took him around and we had a fun time and I got a lot of pictures of the bug. Yeah, um, basically there's um, a couple pictures I took and there's a couple things I kind of wanted to talk about when you take pictures of pets. Um, this is one of the first pictures I got and I was just like uh, sitting there as he was walking towards me and um, I got that but then I realized that if I want to get like a nicer looking picture I should get lower to the ground which with a dog of that size he's only like that tall so I had to get pretty close to the ground to get like a good picture and I did. That's that one. So that also turned out really cool. Um, I got a couple more where I was running along um, with the camera in my hands as he was running. It was like I was trying to use both hands as a gimbal because um, I don't have a gimbal for that camera. Uh, I was kind of just following him as much as I could and I'm a decent runner. Not, not like I was running that fast, but um, yeah. I got to get some cool pictures of him as he was running. He was making funny faces and um, Lou likes to make a lot of funny faces when he runs. So yeah, it was it was a lot of fun being able to do that. And I got some cool videos too. Uh, the, the different thing with pet photography is like, you just have to get lower. You have to get really close. Um, and you have to have a good autofocus because animals move. And yeah, that's about it. Also, I got 100 subscribers between me making my last video and this video. So, um. I'm going to make a cool 100 subscriber special, hopefully if things work out, and um, I'll probably post next week, maybe the week after, depending, uh, obviously depending on things uh, turning out. So yeah, if you want to stay tuned, you can hit the subscribe button somewhere. And um, yeah, staying tuned will help. And if you want to like the video and tell me what you guys enjoyed about this, it would be really cool. And besides that, have a good one.